Hi, Jessica Rector here, keynote speaker, number one best-selling author, and high-performance and inner communication expert. We are in the middle of an eight-part series about how your inner communication affects certain elements of your life, and this is part two. And today, we are taking a little bit deeper dive into, wait for it, wait for it, performance. How is your inner communication affecting your performance? Now, tying in with performance, it also affects your productivity. So I want you to think about my interpretation of performance is what you're getting done and how effective you are in getting it done. Whereas productivity is how fast and how much you're getting it done. Just to clarify, and yes, they can be intertwined. So we're going to be talking a little bit about both of them today. So your performance, when you get to work, if you just had a conversation with your spouse that mm, maybe didn't go so well, or the client puts all these demands on you, or you're behind in the project, or you had a meeting and mm, your team didn't really respond the way you thought they should respond, has that ever happened with you? Well, what usually happens next without you even realizing it, you get stuck in your head, in your own thoughts, and you start thinking, hmm, great, now I'm not that great of a spouse. Hmm. Maybe I don't deserve to have that client. Oof, I just am not leadership material. I knew, I knew they weren't going to respond the way I wanted them to. And then you start thinking about all the things that went wrong instead of thinking about the things that went right. But then what happens is you start getting in your head and thinking about it and not paying attention to the report that you have to do. You're not paying attention to the project that you're working on or the task or the call that you're on with this next client. You're not paying attention to that. You're distracted because you're in your head. And when you're distracted, you're not focused. When you're not focused, accidents increase, errors increase, mistakes increase. Now what happens in your job when accidents, errors, and mistake increase? In some jobs, it can be the difference between life and death. Is that your job? Or it's the difference between keeping a client and losing a client. Is that your job? Or it can be the difference between being a leader or being demoted. Is that your job? So I want you to think that if errors, accidents, and mistakes increase, how does that affect your job? But maybe it's not even to that extent. Maybe it's that you make more mistakes and so you have to redo something and then redo it again, and then redo it again. So you're spending more time and energy and focus on that when you can be using it for something else. Meaning that not only does your performance decrease, but your productivity decreases because you're not getting more done in the allotted time. You're not being effective. You're not being successful. So, what are you saying to yourself about yourself that is preventing you from performing not just where you can, but where you can, uh, not just where you are, but where you can be? Where, what are you saying that is keeping you from being more productive, from getting more things done effectively? And so when something happens, when something doesn't work out the way you plan, leave it. Let it be. Look for the moments of opportunity. Look for the lessons learned from it. How can you improve next time? And then let it go. Don't keep thinking about it. Don't keep analyzing it. Don't keep dwelling on it. Because when you do, that's when your performance is going to suffer. That's when more errors and accidents and distractions happen right? You're constantly texting someone, telling someone about it. So then you're distracted thinking, are they texting me back? Let me check my phone. We don't need more distractions. So again, I'm not here to overwhelm you. So I want you to think of one way that you can let go of that inner conversation that comes up when things don't work out the way you want them to. How can you let it go and move on so you can Focus 100% on the task, on the project, on the conversation, so you're not having to do it again 
and again and again, but you do it once and you do it correct and then you actually can get more done and be faster at it. So you can find out more about me at jessicarector.com. I hope you have an amazing day. Until next time, bye-bye.